Coach, what, what's the difference this this spring with uh, Coach Browns, or what are you seeing a little bit different from the offense? Um, from the offense, I feel like from this year to last year, uh, we're a lot more competitive. Guys want to win every rep. They want to get better every rep. They want to improve from last year. So the practices are really high pace. We move fast, and they're really competitive, for sure. What have you seen from the wide receiver group? You know, specifically guys that didn't play last year, like you know Jordan Young, or, uh, you know Demarcus Adams. Uh, a lot of our young guys are hungry. Uh, a lot of our older guys are hungry too. But a lot of our young guys are feeding for opportunity. They want to get on the field. They want to do well. Uh, they want to put on for their school. So they're trying to get to that to that point in their life where they can play well and play fast. So they're hungry. Has anybody stood out at that position? Um, I definitely have to say my brother Cameron McDonald. He's a for sure up and comer. Uh, Demarcus Adams is a for sure up and comer. You guys know about Keyshawn Helton, uh, Trey Sean, Jordan Young. They're all. I'm really happy with the group of guys that I came in my class. They're really, they're really good and they're really hungry. I like that. I love it. We've seen sure. Cam kind of go back and forth between tight ends and wide receivers. I guess when we were out here last week. What, what about his skill set makes him so unique in that way? Um, I'll have to say he's he's. He's more prone to go one-on-one -on -one with linebackers, so he's quicker than a linebacker, and he's bigger than a DB, so he can jump for the ball and get position on a DB, whereas a smaller wide receiver couldn't have that opportunity. So his body position, for sure. With how the depth chart stands now, you're, you're the, the backup right now. Does that kind of put a little jolt into your preparation and what you need to do to make sure that, that you're fully ready? Um, I wouldn't say it really changes anything in me. I'm going to go out there and push my teammates to – perform at the best of the ability. I'm going to push Say Black because I know he's a starting quarterback and I'm going to be right there on his back and giving him info, giving him uh, tips when I see something wrong in the defense or if he does something wrong. So uh, I just want to focus on being a good teammate and being competitive at practice. For so sure. far, what have you been able to take from James? Um, James is an excellent teammate. When you think of a teammate, uh, he's he gives you uh, tips, um, he's motivating, comes out with a lot of energy. Um, so I would just say how to be a leader. He's a vocal leader and that's something I picked up from him from day one. So, yeah. Like operationally, is the, does the offense change the way you guys are practicing with, with, with Coach Browse there now? Can you kind of like let us know what, that, what that's been like? Um, from this year to last year, I feel like the practice tempo or the offense from the offensive standpoint is it's, it's a faster pace. Um, have faster tempo. We're trying not to let the we're trying not to let the defense get set up. So that's a big part of our offense for sure. In terms of like the drill look, are there things he's focusing on in terms of like mechanics or keys that, that, that seem to be pretty different than what you guys? From a quarterback about? standpoint, I would say he's focusing a lot of on play action. So feet dropping our eyes into the belly of the running back, selling that run, coming up and throwing the ball. I would definitely say he's he's big on that for sure. Does it feel like being able to run is a more valuable asset for a quarterback in this offense than last year? Um, my, I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of option routes in this offense. So if they're not open, then we have to take off and run. We have to be decisive. But that was the same as last year. So if you don't have what you, if you don't see what you like, then you have to take off and run. You have to be decisive. Though. So I would, I would say no, really. You mentioned the tempo in this offense. Is mm -hmm. that something that's easier because of the way Coach Browse is installing it, or is it having a full year of it, I guess, previously, where you guys weren't transitioning to something new, or a little bit of both? Um, I would definitely say it's the way Coach Browse installed it from day one. He said he wants to be the top offense in the nation. He wants to be the fast tempo offense, and that's what he's definitely trying to install, and I see it. He's coaching that every day. He doesn't let us take reps off, even if we're tired. So we're fast tempo, and I love it. For sure. And for you, what, do you, what, what do you think you bring to the table as a quarterback? What are your strengths? What do you bring to this, this offense? Um, my athletic ability is God-given, so I definitely feel like I'm more of an athletic quarterback. Um, and I'm a great motivator to my teammates. I really like to push Jay Black. Uh, he likes to push me, so I feel like we go back and forth in that sense. So, yeah, I would say a high motivator and an athletic quarterback, for sure. And obviously, your, your brother here is a factor, but you could have been other places. Right. What made you want to be here? Um, obviously, you know, coming to my co coming to college with my brother has always been a dream of mine. See youth football, so I would say that had a big effect to it. Um, and basically, just the opportunity here. The coaches, they from day one, they believed in me. They saw what I could do, whereas a lot of other schools didn't. So I came here, 
and I love the I love the choice that I made, and I love being an old for sure, through and through.